from a salt line so today we're gonna talk about seals and what are they in Digimon Master so the seals are the cards that drop from Digimons and not any cards those cards the blue one so those blue ones are the seals that's called seals as you can see they are written already from which Digimon like for example in here like Devimon seal Demi Miramon seal, Durumon seals, and each seal has its own thing to give for you. Like an additional buff, additional uh, power that you're gonna get from the seals, and when you master the seal, you're gonna get this small, beautiful Digimon here on your shoulder. As you can see, he's so cute. Alright, so, um, we're gonna talk about that later. <laughs> so, right now, we're gonna talk about the seals. The seals is you can reach the seals by clicking T on your keyboard or by just um, in here you're gonna find here the options that's called C mash you can click on it and you're gonna see here the seals but for example you want to focus on one type of seals and the one type of seals that you want for example you want to attack seals you don't want any other seals so you're gonna click in here and go to attack seals and so you're gonna see here the Digimons that gonna give you the attack, the seals that you need to get the attack from the Digimon. And in order to activate the seal, you're gonna need an a seal opener that you gonna find it from the shop or by special events or from another players actually. So those are the stuff that you can get the seals from and other stuff you won't get it actually. So if you looked around in here, you're gonna see here the seal openers. They do like discounts from time to time on seal openers, or you can instead of you don't want to buy those, you can like farm terrors and buy it with terrors. Like I think one, one fifty, one five hundred or two terrors. It's it's from one until two terrors. It's from this this type. So um. In this in this price range and be careful to buy the seal opener not the seal closer because the seal closer is doing something else like here you can see it's called seal opener so you can see here it's called the seal opener oh, come on. certification is here <laughs> okay this, uh, as you can see it's called seal opener you have to make sure it's seal opener not the seal closer the seal closer has a different thing. It's cheaper than the seal opener. It's cheaper. Uh, the players sell it cheaper, but it's bad actually. It's not that bad actually. It's uh, just it has something else to do. Like you can see, they are the same price on on the Steam, but they do another thing. 100%. Like the seal opener is to open the seal and to activate it. And the seal closer is to deactivate the seal and remove the seal from your collection. This is the difference between seal opener and seal closer. Like if you have seals, like in here for example, right click and OK and then you're gonna open the seal. But you have the seal closer, you're gonna right click and then here you can see closed and you're gonna remove the seal from your collection and by removing the seal from your collection, that means removing the buff that it gives to you. So this is really important actually. Uh, like for example, if you want to remove this right now, I'm having 30 more 30 attack from the seal. If I remove the seal, the attack gonna drop from 585 to 555. So I'm gonna lose 30 of my attack. And I really don't recommend doing this, but if you want to s to sell the seals or you want to make totally new character and you want to change the seals and you don't want to stay with with this, so yeah, you can do that. Or you want just you want to quit Digimon Master and you want to sell the seals that you have in order to get some terrors or you want to do anything, so you can do that. But otherwise, don't close any seal because they are really important. So, where do you get the seals from? You get the seals from Digimons and dungeons. So, there's a specific seals that you can only get from dungeons. And you can't find in other places. Or raids. 
like in here those those three types of seals like you can get this seals no, just from dungeons you know the other seals here you can get from another part here you can get from empty card and here you can just uh, look around and you can have find where you get this this seals for example you just click in here and you can see like each map here as you can see each map what seals does it contain and which seals you want to activate so yeah but here as you can see like there's a specific seals they are all you can get from raids this one only from raids you can get it from otherwhere else or you can buy it from players and this one from raids and you can see like this one from normal Digimons so you can get it easily but here real days they are good here they are those here are from dungeon this real days is dungeon and central real days is dungeon as you can see and the last one is next one it's from dungeon as well so you can get it from anywhere else and as you can see here you can get like Gabumon seal from dungeon as well and the, uh, the Odaiba map you can get like specific this one, those two are from raids, you can get it from raids, and the other are from normal Digimons. So, uh, there's something called Seal Exchange Ticket. It's, uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of those right now with me, but I'm gonna show it to you. You come here to this guy, you come here to Seal Master, and then like this one this is the seal exchange ticket this you can get it from uh, digimons you can it's it's like a drop from digimons or sometimes players sell it but no one sell it because it's character bound but you can like find it from special events sometimes you can get it from special events special sales or you can just farm digimons and yeah you can get that if you got luck and so you can see here you can exchange it with a couple of other seals not all the seals are here you have to make sure which seal do you want and not wasting this on seals not all the seals are here just specific type of seals and just specific seals and this this is what the seal is give to you when when you have like your Digimon for example the attack as you can see I gain 585 from the seals and as you can see this is clone I already did, done a video about cloning and what is the perfect cloning it's the previous video I have done and I will do a video on the, on the event on the upcoming event I think or the upcoming update I'm gonna talk about that what is that about and as you can see here to, to master a seal I I'm gonna tell you here something before I forget each seal opener open 50 seals like 50 seals you can open it with one opener you cannot open you can open actually one or two or even three or five seals but it's gonna like kinda wasting of seal opener because you have 50 seals you you can open with, with one opener it, it won't make any difference as you can see here maybe maybe you noticed here that I have just a couple of seals because they are rare and have to get like here example it's a really rare seal and it's way too expensive if you want to buy it from other players so like opening one is fine right now but if I get 50 of that that can be better and as you can see, it's gonna write to you here, like, zero mailing until next level, I need like 94, uh, 49 of this, and until I'm gonna get like 60 attack. Right now I'm having 30 from it, but if I get like 49, I'm gonna get like 60 attack from it. But those seals are hard to get, so this one is from dungeon, you might get it, but this one is really hard because you have to be the first one. You have to be the first one in the raid in order to get it. And to be the first one in the raid is not that easy. It's really hard raid, especially examon and wherever the hit rate is good with you, your Digimon gonna miss and you you're gonna need like a really good 
defense point, really good defense, and really good hit rate and attack in order to do that. And I have done that when when the battle tag was there because I can change the Digimon and I can do that. And I got that by really I was lucky to get that because I was there tanking, so I got it. So that's that's how the stuff is going. This is what is seal opener or this is what it's given to you. This is the new guide about the seal opener. And I wish you guys enjoyed it. I hope you I hope you like the video and maybe you can write down comments if you have a question about the seals or any other stuff. I am gonna be glad to help you. And see you guys later in next episode.